But more often than not, the way you influence an organ is from its center. And that's what we're going to come to in the next section. That's the premise of osteopathy and chiropractic, but especially osteopathy. You want to influence an organ, do something to its center. You can see that with the vasomotor centers if you want to influence circulation. He said you can influence circulation by stimulating where it is, but the other thing is to go to the center that's regulating the blood flow to there, work on that center. There's a beautiful uh, reading, I think it's 1158 in the 1158 series, where the lady said, my thyroid's underactive. How do I increase my thyroid? Uh, and that's one of the most beautiful osteopathic readings uh, for that lady. And he said, well, you can manipulate the thyroid. That would, that's one way to do it. But he said, go to the center for the thyroid. Stimulate the center if you want to stimulate the organ. And that's what we're going to be coming up on here is the concept of centers. And it's, um, I want to make sure I get this on tape because this is real important uh, for you all. I'm going to ask you just to, can you move a little bit? I'm concerned that I might get like that much at the top of your head the whole time or something, <laughs> which uh, I can edit out some of this. But uh, this concept of centers and the idea that um, you can influence the centers. And I said almost like a gas pedal and brake if you know how to stimulate or inhibit a center. Okay. Well, in the nerve system, you, this is the primary concept, that there are these centers, there are, there's, the, there's different components to the system that are trying to stay in balance and coordination. They're doing, they have different responsibilities, if you will, the cerebral spinal, sympathetic, and the sensory. So you talk about deflections to the locomotory centers. And there's upper locomotory and lower locomotory. The upper locomotory are the brachial plexus up here, primarily in the upper thoracic area. That's the upper locomotories. The lower locomotories, the lumbar axis, from fourth lumbar and down through there. And that's the lower locomotory. So when you're talking about your leg movements and those sort of things, you've got your locomotory centers. And these are important when you're dealing like with the wet cell um, and you're having locomotory problems like Parkinson's or MS or some of these sort of things where you're having movement kind of problems. You'll often see him working with the brachial upper locomotories or the lower locomotives from the fourth lumbar to increase the energy to, for locomotion, for movement. You get the sensory organisms, you get reflexes. Big, see, all this operates by reflexes, so understanding reflex, reflexology. This is like really advanced reflexology. It's not just the foot, it's reflexes all over the body, these nerve centers and these, the impulses, the reflexes that are going on and how to work with the reflexes to create this coordination and more often than when there's a disease, more often than not, he said it's an incoordination. Something's not quite firing quite right. It's not in balance or harmony. It's functional. It's an incoordination between the cerebral, spinal, sympathetic, and the sympathetic, the vegetative. Now, we'll come to that in a few minutes, talk about this great sympathetic system and the different aspects of it to keep an equal balance. That's balance and harmony. That's the key to working with the nervous systems.